human spine is, of course, the electric power cord of our body, sending millions of nerve impulses at a split second to do things like move your hand away from things like a hot stove. So neck and back surgeries are among the scariest for patients, yet the doctors who perform them know they're a matter of bone, nerves, tissue, and water. Joining us this morning with what we should know about three common back and neck surgeries is Dr. Human Melamed, a board-certified orthopedic spine surgeon. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you Thank guys you for being here. Thank so you for having what me would the four most common causes of neck and back pain be? So one of the things is a lot of people get hurt, they do sports or they bend down to pick up something, you know, muscle strain. Yeah. Like you kind of pull your muscle, like you pull muscle, just like you pull your hamstrings, you know, pull muscle, pinch nerve. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I feel like something pinch. Yeah. Uh, degenerative disc disease, you know, basically, or disc issues or the joint in your spine you know our spine has joints in the back basically mm -hmm. the little joints in the back just like a finger joint that could be a source of the pain and of course if somebody has you know a lot of people are like you see crooked they have scoliosis right. or pinched or curved over you know different alignment problems it could be all sorts of pain one of the big questions I think people have when they have ailments if you will is they want to decide whether or not they should have surgery and you're here to tell us about a non-invasive procedure called a, a roto-rooter? Sure, that's the layman's term. But good news first, I want to make it very clear that 80% of people who have spine issues, 90% of us do not end up needing surgery. Mm. So the great news is that Do just people get unnecessary surgeries then? Sometimes? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, okay. Mm. So I, I think some a, a lot of times, good news, 90% of people do not need surgery. That's very important yeah. because just because you have a problem, people are like, well, how's the problem going to go? Well, your body can fix it. Right. You can help it get it better. So if you're going to do surgery, uh, another good news, most of the surgeries can be done with the, the rotor-rooter we talked about. Okay. Rotor-rooter is like exactly, you're getting in basically, the area of a pinch nerve, let's say the, this nerve that are coming out, the spinal, you have a disc or bulge, you're just doing a little clean out. It's mm -hmm. like a little tip of the pen, you go with the microscope in, wow. and you do a clean out outpatient, or you can come with an endoscope, do a little clean We're looking out. at an image wow. there, that's incredible. Yeah, and patients, and uh, you know, some of these surgeries can be done as small as a half an hour to an mm -hmm. hour. Our patients, patient go home, like you can see they're making a little, that's the endoscope they're showing, wow. making a little, it's about a quarter of an inch incision. You go down there with little microscopic tools and you start doing the work a little bit. You know, it's a little bit more involved than the animation, but it's still the right hands, it's done very well. Yeah. Most patients are a candidate for that operation. You go home the same day, you're back to work in a few days, and you're driving in a few days, you know, in about a month or so, you start physical therapy, and then when you graduate, you're back to sports. Yeah. That's most of the patients Incredible. just need a little... We want to ask you about the uh, artificial disc replacement, yes. the causes that someone would need it and how it's performed. So the artificial disc, if you look at the spine model here, we all have discs, which is, these are the vertebrae here, mm -hmm. and in between are the discs, the shock absorbers, just like you have cushion in your knees, your hips, your ankles. So the artificial disc means that the disc is damaged, it's the source of the pain, it's yeah. causing you the problems. So you take the disc out and you basically, as they're showing in the animation, and you can move your neck. Wow. Ooh. I think I had that done. You have the, you have the animation, yeah. And so sure. they you can put do this. an artificial disc You, you put in. an artificial disc in here, yeah. You remove it, it's a metal and, and plastic, sometimes metal and metal, and allows you to move around, basically. Incredible. That's another one that a lot of patients, if they're not candidate for rotor rooter, this is another great option. It retains mm -hmm. your motion and allows you to be very functional with very little fall off mm -hmm. after. Very back, it's outpatient too. Most of it is an outpatient. One of the scariest diagnoses, as I'm told, is uh, spine fusion. So spine fusion has gotten a, a very bad rap. You know, my late father, he had spine fusion done. You know, I think fusion in the right hands for the right reasons, it's the best, it's a great operation. As you can see, you're putting the screws in there. You know, you're trying to get two vertebrae to basically um, fuse together, like mend them together so it doesn't move. You take a motion segment away. And you can see the animation they're showing. It's not minimally invasive. A lot of fusion can be done also as outpatient with patient going back to work in a few days and very little blood loss, very small recovery, usually back to physical therapy in about two months, basically. It's the exact you see on the animation. You have literally these are how big the screw. This is a yeah. real screws that are actually used in, in patients. And you have a cage here that goes inside the vertebrae and then it locks together, basically. The, the right... As I said, my late father had it done, and in the right hands for the right reason, it's a great operation, if it's necessary for the patients. 
appreciate you coming in this yeah. morning. Thank you very much for having me. Explaining the options for all of us. Once again, Dr. Human Melamed is a born certified spine surgeon. For more information about back pain topics, you can follow him on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.